Hey guys, today I'm reviewing for you an application called the Holo Launcher. It's a launcher replacement for your Android phone. Now the best thing about it is it brings some of the best features out of ice cream sandwich and jelly bean to your gingerbread slash for your phone. Now what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to review it on this MyTouch 4G that was originally running gingerbread and I'm going to compare it with the Galaxy S3 with T-Mobile. So let's dive in. The app was originally featured on the XD portal site by Poor College Guy. It explains a little bit about the application, but the basic explanation is it's an ice cream sandwich launched on your gingerbread slash for your phone. Then let's go ahead and open up the uh, XDA thread that talks about this application. What you'll see here is it has a, a run through of basic application features for the basic one and for the plus feature once you upgrade. It's a $3.99 upgrade. It also gives you the link to the Play Store. In the Play Store, what you can search for is Holo Launcher by Mobint Software. And uh, you can either install it through the website or directly install it from the Google Play app on your phone. Let's go ahead and dive in. What I'm going to go ahead and do for you is compare the stock launcher on the Galaxy S3 and the stock launcher on the MyTouch 4G. I preloaded the Holo launcher on the left, which is not the default stock launcher, but it's going to be the one that we're comparing to today. So we'll start first with the Holo launcher itself. It has the ice cream sandwich look and feel. What you'll see essentially is that it has the app, the dock app at the bottom for applications. You have phone, messages, uh, you know, contacts as well as browser. You have the ability to do in the pinch to zoom. One of the best features I find of this launcher itself is that you can do, you know, swipe down, you get the notification menu, and swipe up. You can configure it to be, you know, Google search. Um, I pre-configured these two actions, but again, you can configure the swipe down to be anything you want, as well as the swipe up. In the application menu, you'll find that it scrolls right to left, similar to a lot of the ice cream sandwich interfaces. You have the option of hiding application, going straight into manage application to be able to uninstall system settings as well as the launcher settings. We'll go to launcher settings for the sake of this review. You're able to customize practically everything on this launcher, uh, anywhere from how many apps you have on the, on the menu to uh, what are the action as to swipe up and swipe down. Uh, you have desktop, you know, the jar setting, the dock setting, the appearance setting, and then as well as the gestures and the keys and what they do. Uh, this is the free version, so the upgrade to full version has not been activated here. But overall, even on the free launcher, it works very well. You can see that it goes with the infinite loop very well, the pinch to zoom again, and it just functions very, very nicely. We'll go ahead and swap it over for the Galaxy S3. The Galaxy S3 is running the stock TouchWiz UI. Uh, the, the application itself is very, very smooth. This has, been, this has been rated as one of the best launchers available right now on the market. Uh, it loads very, very quickly, very nicely. You'll notice that there is an application here, option here for going to widgets, where you didn't have it on the other one. You have also the ability of doing you know, the quick back and forth, the pinch to zoom in the application drawer, as well as obviously uh, when you're at the home, you're able to do it you know, from the home screen. Uh, the main thing obviously is the ability to kind of go back and forth, go home, um, it doesn't have the automatic option to go down the way we have it on the Holo Launcher. We don't have the ability of doing swipe down and getting the feature that we want, or even swipe up. But again, that's part of the fact that it's the default stock launcher. Very nice, compares very nicely to the Holo Launcher, but again, the Holo Launcher installs on a lot more devices than Samsung, and it has more features that will be very useful. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Okay, so what we noticed is that the application itself works very nicely on the MyTouch 4G and compares very nicely to the Galaxy S3's launcher. One thing you want to keep in mind is A, it's highly customizable, it has more features than what Samsung decided to put out of the box into their, Mita, into their Galaxy S3. I personally prefer it slightly more, again, more purely because of the swipe up and swipe down shortcuts that you don't have that in the stock launchers. The ability to back it up, transfer it from one phone to another so you're not bound by the default launcher that comes with your brand new phone or if you're buying another phone, a replacement phone or anything like that. So it works very nicely. I would say please try it. Let me know what you think. It's available on the market again in pro and light version. And um, let me know in the comments. Hope you guys like and subscribe this video. Thank you very much.